All right, let's take a look at uh, GRATSC. Uh, someone had asked about decoding, demodulating um, TV, um, the ATSC um, standard. So this is actually included in GNU Radio, and I have an X310 uh, hooked up right now. I'm sure you can do it with other uh, software-defined radios that have enough uh, uh, bandwidth and uh, capability um, sample rate-wise. Uh, but I'm going to use the X310. I've got one radio uh, in there. I've got a uh, just a telescopic antenna. Uh, nothing special about it. Not even really meant for TV. Um, I would suggest if you're doing this to get the right kind of antenna. But this is just to show how to get you going. Uh, but if you look uh, for ATSC and um, Dragon OS, you'll find that it's in the user share uh, GNU radio examples DTV. And if you have a look in there, you'll see there's a, a whole lot of flow graphs uh, already there. We're going to use the uh, flow graph, that uh, same one I've got sitting on my desktop right now. But we're going to start uh, from the beginning. We'll open it up in GNU Radio. And I'm going to make a couple changes. Uh, again, it really is going to depend on what radio you use. Uh, this happens to be for UHD, so I'm going to remove... Let's see, I'm going to remove some stuff here. Let's see. Change in the information that's in the device address. Uh, let's see, I'm going to change the channel antenna because that's important with the X310. I'm going to come up and uh, actually I'll show one other thing. So if you open up something like GQRX, and you have enough bandwidth to, to look at uh, a frequency uh, for the ATSC standard, you're going to find it's pretty wide. And you can look on Google uh, for uh, RF, RF channel, basically near me, find the TV channels that are near you, and then those channels uh, correlate to a frequency, and you can find that online. In this case, um, there's a station on... Uh, I think it's about 521. You can see it here. It's pretty wide. Um, I have GQRX, I think it about an 8 meg sample rate and uh, bandwidth wise. And you can see the unique uh, spike in the signal over here on the left. And um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's one channel. There's another one I think about 569. Doesn't look as good. Um, and again, this antenna is inside. It's not really meant for TV. So, uh, let's go back to here. So I'll take that frequency that I've got, uh, 521. I'm going to plug it in here manually. And this uh, variable is called within the USRP source. I'm also going to raise the gain up to about 80. Hit apply, okay. This is meant to pump it out into a file, which you can then pl play with uh, VLC all included in Dragon OS. Uh, I'm just going to change where this file is being written. I'll change it to the desktop here. I overwrite the one that was uh, there already that I was testing. Hit apply OK. Uh, it can save this uh, flow graph. I'll, I'll save it right to the desktop, overwrite the one I've got there. Now I should be able to execute this. And I'm going to minimize this uh, in the background here. I'm going to raise the gain up, and we'll see that uh, what we were looking at in GQRX kind of come out there. So you've got the signal. looks pretty good. Um, what I'm waiting for is uh, once it starts to um, process or get some of the information that it needs, you see that... Uh, file there just turned uh, to more look like a video image. I'll give it a little bit. That should build up. And as I'll be honest, sometimes uh, I've got really good quality video. It depends on uh, where I'm at, where I've got the antenna set up at. And then uh, other times it's really choppy and it's just not working that great. So uh, hopefully, at least for this video, I can show that it works and then you can um, try the flow graphs with uh, 
possibly SDR play equipment uh, using the GR SOAP uh, or the Hack RF, possibly. Um, but uh, let's see what we got here. So I'm going to open this. So, yeah, I mean, the video looks great. Uh, you know, I've, se I've seen better where it plays really, really smooth. Um, not so much. Not so much right now, plus I have no idea what you're saying. All right, so I think we get the idea here. We're using a software-defined radio, using uh, GNU radio, and uh, we're receiving, uh, demodulating uh, this ATSC standard here. So, yeah, I've always wanted to do that. Uh, I'll keep working with it, get it to uh, work out a, a little better. There's actually a GR ATSC 2. Um, matter of fact, let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, well, no, actually, I don't have internet on here. I'll save that for another video. I'll just point out there's a GR ATSC 2 that has a streaming server with it. Um, the problem is if you pull it down to try and build it, uh, it's kind of meant for the mainline um, GNU radio. Uh, if you look, though, the last uh, update um, to the file structure, if you reverse that uh, where it's changing boost to STD, I think it is, um, you, you change that back and then it will build, uh, but I'll cover that in another, another video. I just wanted to show that uh, the default ATSC uh, in uh, Dragon OS uh, Focal here uh, does work. All right, thanks.